What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This will be AFC North prediction of 2009 NFL season. Oh, yeah. Pittsburgh Steelers went 12 and 4 last year, defeated the San Diego Chargers, beat the Baltimore Ravens in the AFC Championship game to get to the Super Bowl and won it all to capture their sixth Super Bowl title seven months ago. Defense was their main strength for they were ranked number one overall in the league number one against the pass and ranked second against the run they draft some really good players in the offseason will contribute to the team right away big ben rotlisberger for the quarterback he may he continues to make plays so the negative well they did make some mistakes on offense, like miss blocking assignments, dropping balls, turnovers, you name it. But the main issue was Big Ben Roethlisberger took too many beatings for the fact that the offensive line couldn't find a way to protect him. If they can minimize the mistake and find a way to protect him, and the defense stay the same, I guarantee you, they will win the AFC North division. And they they, they can win the Super Bowl again and repeat it, but can and will are two different things. Verdict, 13-3. and three. <clears throat> Cincinnati Bengals were us their usual selves, dysfunctional as ever. Carson Palmer, the quarterback, was lost most of the year with the elbow injury and all the other things. Their defense was their strength for the fact that they were ranked number 12. No, they were ranked 12th in the league in total defense, and that's shocking to me for the fact that they completely reeked in that department for the last several years. If they couldn't find a way to stop the run, they couldn't stop the pass. It's just they were everywhere. The negative was injuries that just kill the offense altogether the running game is totally non-existent and they still have a very football no they still have a very very low football IQ when, when I say that they the organization continued to find you no know, sign players who quote unquote have potential but they always find themselves in trouble off the field, such as running, you know, running with the law. If any coach is on the hot seat, is definitely Marvin Lewis. One winning season since he's been there, one playoff appearance. <laughs> it's time for the Cincinnati Bengals to rise up, or Marvin Lewis is out. Nine and seven verdict. Eight and eight for the Baltimore Ravens. They were one game away, one game away from the Super Bowl after defeating the Tennessee Titans. Yes, they were ranked number one seed in the National Football League, but Pittsburgh Steelers kill all that noise and end up winning it all while their rival, B. Moore Ravens, watched at home just like the rest of us. The defense was their strength, as always. In the passing game, they finally have a quarterback stability. The negative, well, the running game was so-so, and the defense starting to age a little bit. Can quarterback Joe Flacco do better as a second-year starter? That's the biggest question. Will he hit the? Will he have a sophomore slump? If the offense continues to play well and match the intensity of the defense. They can win 10 games, but I just don't see it. They're going 8-8. Eight and eight. I mean, losing their defensive coordinator, yeah, defensive coordinator, Rex Ryan, for a head coaching job for New York Jets, and losing key players like Bart Scott, it, can, it will hurt them. So, that's just me. If you disagree, that's cool. But don't send me no PMs and threatening me and saying I'm an idiot, I'm bleep. You need to go jump off a cliff and die. No. You ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing. Alright? 
Cleveland Browns were exposed as an overhyped and overrated team they were last year. This is the same damn so-called experts who sat there and told the whole football world, hey, they're going to the playoffs two years ago after they went 10 and six. Really, so-called experts? Really? Come on, let's be real. The positive is their offensive players, the key offensive players. Uh, number 18 wide receiver for the Cleveland Browns. He's really good, but the problem is Butterfinger hands. He got some. But he's been eating too many Butterfingers to the point that he be dropping balls left and right. Shoot, lay off the Butterfingers, brother. The negatives. Well, the offense has potential, but they just couldn't find a way to put it together. And they, and they really have a very bad defense. Losing Dante Stallworth, the wide receiver, for the entire year for a DUI manslaughter charges does hurt them some, but Cleveland Browns have bigger issues to worry about than him. New head coach Eric Mangini will have a hard, hard work ahead of him. And there's one more question I need to, to ask. There's one more question I need to throw out, out there. Who's going to be the quarterback for the entire 2009 season? Derek Anderson? Brady Quinn? Anybody? My money is on Brady Quinn. My verdict for the Cleveland Browns? <laughs> 5 and 11. <laughs> and with that, get ready for NFC North. Oh my God. Help me. I'm out.